I don't know about you guys, but I love peanut butter. I love almond milk. And Cindy Lane Ross from Bodies by Cindy is here today to make something incorporating both. You have some Cool Whip here, and you're all I about mean, healthy cooking. I am. So you're making some stuff. I see Cool Whip and cream cheese. Are you, are you a little scared right now? I'm excited. <laughs> I wouldn't say scared. Hey, who doesn't love peanut butter? You know, not everybody many loves peanut butter. So unless you're allergic to it, that's it, usually that's my. what I was thinking. But if you're not, yeah, you usually love it. So this is a favorite, especially my husband. He was like, "Please bring me back one home." So oh. um, peanut butter pie. Um, mm. You know, I, and I want to give a couple substitutions that we can use today that will actually help you reduce the calories and make it a little bit more healthy. So today we're not going all out completely down to bare minimum on the calories. I'm going to give you some taste, but I'm also going to give you some suggestions as well. Now with the cream cheese, I see you went with original cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Any particular reason you're not putting the low-fat cream cheese in this recipe? I'm not a huge person on the low fat, reduced fat, because usually there's more <laughs> ingredients that have to go in that and it's more processed to make mm -hmm. it low fat. So I, I usually use just regular cream cheese. And again, this is moderation. So don't sit down and eat the whole peanut butter pie. As okay? much as we want to. Exactly. And um, you know, you can get reduced sugar on the Cool Whip and you know, you can really look and, and try to find different things that that help you reduce the calories. Okay, what is this nifty thing here? So Mobile Fixture gave me this little guided test out and I love this. So what I did was it's one cup and you can you can take it down to whatever measurement you need. Mm -hmm. And you know how you're always struggling to get whatever like if it's a sauce or maybe ketchup and you're struggling to get it out, you put it in this guy and we're gonna just plunge it right through and there's nothing left. And there's it's a perfect thing. measure. Where do we start? Yeah, all right, so what I'm in, I'm gonna go ahead and do is the cream cheese. Okay. Here. The whole block. The whole block. And then this is our baking stevia, which is right here. And we're just going to go ahead and put this in here. Okay. And we're just going to start mixing it and, okay. and start. And I did go ahead and use my peanut butter spoon. So, so we're going to have peanut butter We're going to have anyway. peanut butter anyway. So, yeah. Okay. And we're just going to try to mash it around. So just these two things. Yeah. We get to put the peanut butter in. Um, you want to go ahead and do that? Go ahead and put the. Go ahead yeah, and plunge it. I do. It. Go, I want to see how it works. She's like intrigued by this I'm guy. I'm fascinated. Okay. And we just push it? Push it. Okay. Push it in. There you go. No. Come off. Plunge it all the way through. Did I? I thought I did. I just got it. Yep. Maybe the very end. You just scrape a little bit. No biggie. Okay. But look how neat that is. You don't see one bit of peanut butter around the edges. Nothing. It's all gone. Every single bit. Um, and so, yeah, you want to make sure that you do it all the way to the top. And then, I mean, it's great and easy to clean because, I mean, literally, it's just two pieces of plastic together. All right. I like it. Yes. So, um, you know, and whenever you're preparing this, too, make sure that you leave out the cream cheese and the Cool Whip just a, a little while at room temperature so it's easier to, to spoon together. So Okay. I'm going to let you mix that together. All right. So this is going to be one of those sweet recipes, and you can find a lot of recipes in Cindy's book. Bodies by Cindy is where you can get it right now. And also, you can Mobile get it online. Picture Mobile and picture. online as well, Amazon.com. And, um, you know, we have plenty of copies, so check it out. Okay. And also, Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page, you can get the recipe for this peanut butter pie. Cannot wait to taste this. This is one of those things that, oh, it's so it's good. so yummy. Back in our Studio 10 kitchen with Cindy Lane Ross from Bodies by Cindy, making a sweet treat today. What are we working on? Hey, we're doing peanut butter pie. Who doesn't peanut, love peanut butter peanut pie? Peanut butter pie, but you're supposed to be our healthy <laughs> fitness person. That doesn't, well, what's going it's on healthy. here? Well, you know, of course, peanut butter is high in protein, so okay, we're definitely good. using that. All right. And um, I chose this, the natural GIF. I mean, there's uh -huh. lots of different ways that you can cut corners. Okay. Um, we did go with regular cream cheese today. Um, you know, if you want to, you can add in the reduced fat. Fat. I'm not a big believer in it just because it is more ingredients and it's more processed. Huh. Um, we're going to add in the Cool Whip in just a second, but um, you know, first and foremost, we added in our, our baking stevia, and you can do confection sugar, you can do baking stevia, different different options there to cut calories. So stevia is good because well, it's the most natural sweetener without being sugar. Okay, so right, have so you ever got... tried it before? I have. We have we have all natural peanut butter. Yes. We have stevia. I just wanted the folks to know at home. As a matter of fact, you posted something on your Facebook page a while ago about a soda that uses stevia. Zevia. Zevia uses stuff. stevia. Hey, y'all, I'm going to the store to get some Zevia with the stevia. It's anyway. awesome. Uh, yeah, so I tried it, and it's great. So, yeah, thank you for posting that, and I wanted the folks to know about that. So, we've got some good stuff in here. Yeah, and we used almond milk. We're using a cup of almond milk, so you want to make sure that you, you know, go ahead and mix it 
together the peanut butter, almond milk, and your whether you use confection sugar or your Zevia. Mm -hmm. Or Zevia. Also, <laughs> Zevia. I'm, I'm in like Zevia mode now. <laughs> I'm also using this as well at home. I just switched over to almond milk as well, good. and it's it's very good. Very it's tasty. good, and um, I'm using 30 calorie here. You, there's mm -hmm. 30, 60, 90. Mm -hmm. So you know, it just depends on how low you want to go in the calories. Mm -hmm. So you, you can definitely cut it out, and you're not going to miss a whole lot of the taste. All right. So what right. do we need to do with this? Now? All right. So I'm just going to spoon in our Cool Whip. Mm -hmm. And again, leave these out at about room temperature just for uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes before you actually start making it. All right, so we are making a lot of healthier choices in here, but we, we still do have some of that good stuff in there as well. In moderation, In Joe. moderation. Everything in moderation, and that's what we got to learn. Mm, and this is good. enough to make two, I just got reduced fat graham cracker okay. crust, um, and it, it's, it's enough to make two, and then you want to put it in the freezer for about an hour. Okay. okay, sounds good. Well, that's the next step in the process. Meanwhile, while you continue to work on that, tell the folks about the new fitness center that Bodies by Cindy has opened. Hey, it's at 4674 Airport Boulevard, a brand new facility. We're a full functioning gym, group fitness, and personal training. We even have childcare. <laughs> and that's great for people like me. And you're getting more and more people to sign up every day and take part because the really cool thing is, uh, you know, we talk a lot about when you're buying groceries and things like that to think local, buy local, that kind of stuff. This is the same thing except with your fitness center. It's all local, it's all personal. The experience. That's exactly right. We, our mission is about the lifestyle, it's a mm -hmm. lifestyle change quality of life, giving you enough energy to enjoy the rest of the days of your life. And that's what we do. I mean, we get every fitness level back just to be in motion. All right. Sounds great. Can't wait to try this out. Looking so good. The recipe is online. There's also several recipes in Cindy's new cookbook as well, which you can check out. Get that all. It's going to be delicious. Peanut butter pie in the kitchen. Cindy Lane Ross, Bodies by Cindy, making some dessert today. We think about your recipes as being healthy, but this is something every now and then you have to spoil yourself a little bit. And this isn't going too far over the line because you still have some healthy stuff. Exactly right. It's not too far, but it's just enough to satisfy the sugar cravings that most of all my women clients tell me that they have. Oh, yeah. And all some the time. of my men as well. So it's, it's one, it's really good to satisfy that sweet tooth. You're not overdoing it. It's just the right amount just to satisfy, and again, moderation is key. Yeah, that's the tough part, to remember the moderation thing. So it's all ready. Now, normally, you put this in the freezer? Yes, and I mean, this is absolutely fine like it is. Um, of course, we didn't have an hour for it to sit in the cooler, but you want it to sit, I would say, 45 minutes to an hour in the cooler, and that way it's, it's more solid, but this is absolutely fine as well. I'm just pretending you're giving me the go-ahead to go ahead and go eat ahead. it. Go ahead. She's an eye in the <laughs> pie. The I love peanut butter, and Cindy and I were talking about that. Peanut butter is really a good substitution for something that's really, really bad if you have that sweet tooth. It is, and you can pair it with so many different things, celery, apples, um, you can eat it by itself. I have so many friends in the gym that just eat it by the spoonfuls because mm -hmm. they love it so much. Are you one of those people? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How dip fruit in it. Anything like and that. It's, it's very high in protein, so it's great. And again, it's moderation is key, so don't overdo it because it is a healthy fat, right. but it's still a fat. This is Fabulous. So you have to get this recipe, Studio 10 page, fox10tv.com. Now, again, in moderation, if you do eat a little too much, then Thanks you can go visit Cindy at Bodies by Cindy. See how that works? Everything just goes See, together. See, I feed you pie, now you have to come work out with me. <laughs> That's your trick. Hey, That's the trick. You learned my secret today. <laughs> She's on, right off Airport Boulevard. If you're headed westbound, on your right, just past university, you can't miss it. And these recipes, all of them are in her book. Mm, I'm, I'm tasting the peanut butter in my mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. You know when you have peanut butter in your mouth and you try to talk, it usually doesn't work so well. So bear with me for just a minute. Recipes, Bodies by Cindy is where you can get her cookbook and also this recipe, Studio 10 page on fox10tv.com. I'm going to stop talking because the peanut butter and the sticky and want to fill my mouth again. Oh, that looks so good. Well, speaking of cooking,